Welcome to Puzzle with Emilia. That's me. And this is the puzzle event of the year in Sweden, the Swedish Jigsaw Puzzle Nationals. And this year even bigger and better because you can compete in all three categories, the individual, pairs and teams. I'm here already on Friday before the competition weekend starts to check out the venue and meet the most amazing staff making this event happen. As you can see, the place is being prepared as we speak. And I am so impressed with the facilities, with the staff, and they're literally going there around with the measurement to check out that everything is perfectly on its place. And I'm so excited myself to compete tomorrow in an individual and on pairs on Sunday. The teams are also going to be taking uh, their competition on Saturday night, but I'm not taking part in that. But I'm so excited to watch because there's also a space for audience. No surprise that this video is obviously going to be a little bit of mix uh, of the videos I took there, as you could already see. And now that I'm already back, in Finland. But let's talk about a little bit more um, what I saw on the preparation day because I was allowed um, invited to come to see the venue beforehand to take the videos and stuff. So I was actually very impressed like kind of with the level of professionalism as you could see they were measuring um, everything. Uh, I think it was very thoughtful. They had all the flags uh, of all the nationalities outside of Sweden who were participating, um, of course, as a kind of like outside of the official competition, uh, I love the light. The venue was like perfect because there was so much natural light, um, windows kind of like everywhere, but also um, the actual lighting of the room was quite even and quite good. And I love the size of the table because when I was actually starting competing, um, I never had to fe feel like that, you know, I'm not having enough space or, oh, I wish I would have more space. So the tables were like perfect and definitely not the ones that I mistakenly thought that they're going to be those green ones I talked on my video before, but no, the tables were perfect. And there were so many volunteers participating, you know, organizing, making this uh, thing happen. Of course, the organizers from the, uh, specifically from the association side, a lot of volunteers, cameramen, technicians, people to be the judges and everything. And it was just so great. And of course, just like international um, volunteers and uh, of course the people who are kind of like organized, don't compete, which is exactly the way it should be. And then also uh, while they were, they had this preparation day. So apparently I think it was David who was actually being interviewed uh, live for a TV. And I think he was filming or something. I thought he's just filming a video and Veronica who, um, <laughs> was also there as an international cast, just told me to go and dance in the background. I didn't know it was a TV. I didn't do it, but I definitely could have done it. Uh, but yeah, it, it was also in the Swedish television. So like also very good what they have done, like uh, communication wise, uh, you know, with the media and stuff. So I was like very, very impressed. And we were staying in a hotel, uh, within a walking distance. So it was very easy to find the place and everything. And I was so excited on the day before to finally start competing. Testing. We are ready. Lots of people over there. As I said, I was super excited to compete, but when I actually, you know, started and I saw the puzzle, so I was in the first group in the, because there was individual first like classification round before the final um, two groups of classification. And then it of course had this puzzle and I think most of uh, people at least have, have seen this because this was in the world like 2022, I think. Um, so I have also done this once um, somewhere in August, September last year 
or so and I kind of like suck with this. Uh, so when I saw it, first of all, I was like, okay, now I regret that I actually haven't done this uh, multiple times, just once. And my original time was like way, I think hour and something. Um, and I just knew that this is that kind of puzzle that I can do the water parts pretty well, but with the flowers, especially um, some of these, then it's just kind of like guessing trial and error. Um, there's not too much to see, maybe this and you know, the middle parts of some flowers, but I was like, so the moment I saw this, I was like, oh, this is not gonna go well. And also because I was afraid that, okay, there's most likely a lot of people who have already done this. Anyway, I did pretty well. I was seventh uh, with my time of uh, 52 minutes and 46 seconds. So I was kind of happy with that, even though, well, actually my goal was to do actually in, in less than one hour because I've never done any puzzle in a competition, like a real competition under an hour, except one online random fun competition. So I was kind of aiming for that. So I did achieve my goal. I was very proud. And then actually it was funny, I was walking out of the competition and I have this uh, WhatsApp group with my teammates and they were like discussing my result and there was some message that says that, oh, um, they said Emilia uh, finished in 52 minutes and I was like, they, they said, who said? And then I found out that there was a live stream. So if you wonder why I didn't let you know that there's a live stream of this competition, I did not know. I wasn't the only one who didn't know, um, but yeah, that was great. And then I actually went to figure it out and I was actually commentating the second group, which had um, this puzzle. And I was feeling that maybe I would have done better with this. And we will actually see, not in this video, but I will promise I'll make another video where I will do this and we will see how I would have placed if I would have actually been on the second group. I really like this puzzle and it's actually from 2015, so it's like 10 years old uh, puzzle. But I will leave comment commenting on this more for the second video. But yeah, I was also commentating. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. Um, I almost even like it sometimes more than the actual competing. But yeah, that was it. And then of course, because I was seventh, I was going to the finals. Three, two, one. <laughs> By the way, I actually really like these new Ravensburger um, boxes. I was a little bit hesitant about them before, but I actually like them. So if I ever said anything bad about them, I'm taking it back. So first of all, um, I had a little bit of issue on the first day. First of all, uh, I competed in the first group. Then I was commentating like for two hours on the second group. I barely had time to eat. I was running around. Everybody, actually, I needed to go to the bathroom. There was a line, so I almost was late for the final. I was literally running there. Everybody else um, was basically already seated. I did not know what was my table. I just kept running around. Do you know where my seat is? And then I finally found it, and they started speaking and blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, this was the puzzle for the final. Mm, I love this puzzle. I absolutely love this. I think this is exactly my type of puzzle. I did this in 50 minutes and I placed 17th.
was so much in pain. I started to have this extreme pain. Um, shortly after we started the final and I think I was a little bit stupid. I think I should have like just stopped and uh, quit. Um, but knowing me, obviously I did not. I was so much in pain. I actually have to sit down, which I basically never do in a competition, but I was like, I'm gonna die. Um, and I just push it through. And then I finally finished the puzzle. I just walked out and uh, rolled on a, on a bench in a pole position and uh, and then it kind of became a whole thing. I was so much in pain. Um, I think there's some kind of, not like emergency line, but that you can call a nurse or a doctor. So the um, nice people there organizing stuff was calling, uh, thinking that I need to be taken to the hospital. Well, I didn't want to go to a hospital. So we ended up compromising that I will, will just have a cab and go back to the hotel. And I was a little bit afraid that I kind of created some kind of scene over there because it probably uh, looked a bit really interesting looking from the side and I obviously I should have gone. Well, not I should have not gone anywhere. I, I found the nearest bench and I just rolled there. Obviously, I could have gone to some kind of back room or something. But yeah, sorry for that scene. Uh, anyway, it got better um, when I got to the hotel. But I was a little bit sad because I was actually supposed to analyze the team competition for um, my teammates because I was so interested to see kind of like what the best teams uh, do and do they have some strategies and stuff. You know, I used to have a co coach back in the day who said that you can, you know, you can just watch the game or you can watch the game. So I was really interested to do the second one, uh, but no can you, no can do. I mean, health obviously comes first. And I was still like really excited that I would be able to compete on the next day, which had the pairs. So for the pairs also um, two classification groups and then the final. And I was in the second group. So technically we were actually supposed to go there to the venue a bit later. But my husband, Daniel, who basically just came there with me to travel, have a little vacation somehow magically ended up competing <laughs> and he was in the first group So this is what happened. He had not registered or anything, but it was the first day um, and there was Diana who didn't have a pair. So I think I went to the bathroom or something. I came back and Daniel is like, apparently I'm competing tomorrow. And I was like, what? So they pair up and they were in the first group. So we were there early in the morning. And Daniel did actually quite great. I missed you. Oh no. I was like, hey, why are you taking packing the stuff? Yeah. It's no. done. And I was so jealous because the first group had this lovely Amy Stewart puzzle. Absolutely fantastic bookshelf. Actually, I did the cookbooks as my very first uh, speed bustling competition last year. And I was so jealous of this. I would have loved to be in this group just to do this puzzle. But of course, now I have the puzzle, so I can still do it. And I recommend to follow me on Instagram because we're actually going to go to head to head with this puzzle on Instagram live with some special, special, most awesome speed puzzler from Switzerland. I'm not going to tell the name, so you need to go and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, definitely going to do this in a competition mode. So I'm very, very, very excited for this one. And then between the groups, uh, as I mentioned, there were other international participants. There's a lot of people from uh, the new associations uh, that have been founded in Norway and Denmark. So. I was actually interviewing a little bit the 
those gals because they are also going to have their own na very first nationals in their country very soon. So I have Veronica here with me. It's day two and I just wanted to first ask how is your experience with this whole event so far? It's been really fun. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> awesome to be here and uh, participating a little bit like unofficially and uh, volunteering, getting some experience for the Norwegian Jigsaw Puzzle Championship in June. Yeah. yeah, we are learning so much by being here and helping uh, out. Yeah. yeah, it has been so great. I feel like their organization skills are here are like Top notch, mm. I would say. And uh, as you mentioned, you have uh, now association in Norway, which uh, was founded quite recently. So, yep. what's coming up? Yeah, so we just created the Norwegian Jigsaw Puzzle Association right after the World Championship. Mm -hmm. uh, so, throughout the week, like we all kept talking about it, like, oh, we want to do our own national championship. So we have to like. Uh, get a board together, someone to organize it, and the four of us uh, volunteered to do it. So, uh, yeah, we're planning the championship for 8th of June. It's going to be in Stjordal, which is the city right next to the airport of Trondheim. Uh, and um, it's going to be one day of puzzling for both individual pairs and teams. Amazing. Yeah. So you have right away all the categories. Yeah. That is so great. So. Um, who can participate? Do you need to be one of those who go to the worlds and stuff? No. Or <laughs> anyone can join. It's like if you find puzzles fun, just come. <laughs> Especially so if you're in Norway, and even if you are not, you can yeah. also come from abroad. Uh, mm. Same way that we've been doing here, that we're kind of yeah. unofficially participating, kind of like outside of the competition, but kind of mm. in the competition. Yeah. And especially if you are in Norway and you love puzzles, then please mm. join. Can you say the date one more time? 8th of June in Stjordal. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So I also have Iris here and Hi. I'm so excited. We were also at dinner yesterday and we talked a lot about things. But let's get back to this puzzle thing. So how has been your experience this weekend? It's been really nice. It's it's really a professional setup here in Sweden and I'm very impressed by how, uh, like the organizers, how they did it. Yeah. And of course, it's just really nice to be able to actually speed puzzle against others because otherwise it's kind of a lonely, yeah. uh, a lonely hobby. But it's really nice to come out here and meet other people and yeah, puzzle together. Yeah, and you also came with the other people from your country, Denmark. And I heard the little bird saying that you also have an association now. Is that true? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, we have a quite new uh, Danish puzzle organization where we try to work with both speed puzzling and also just puzzling in general and do different things and um, yeah so we're of course open for new members yeah amazing and actually I'm pretty impressed that you also mentioned that not only speed puzzling but in general also like puzzle stuff and things going on but of course I'm a little bit more interested in the speed puzzling usually of I course. heard you have <laughs> Um, your own uh, Danish uh, nationals or slash uh, championship, whatever you want to call it, yeah. <laughs> coming. Tell me something about that and when is yes. it? Well, we have it coming up here on the 1st and 2nd of June this <laughs> year. So it's already in a couple of months from now. Um, yeah, we're working very hard right now to make everything like fall into place. Um, yeah. But uh, that's very exciting. It's, of course, the first time that we do it. So we can only hope that we are <laughs> like <laughs> almost as professional as these guys here in Sweden um, yeah yeah and that's perfect and uh, have I understood correctly that of course everybody who's living in Denmark you and you love puzzles please come and uh, compete even if you wouldn't uh, if you, even if you haven't competed before because yes. I said this is first time it's so much fun uh, exactly and uh, is it also open for internationals to similar to this that kind of like unofficially on the side yes exactly that's our plan that we also open up some spots for international people <laughs> to come and join us uh, but of course we want to make sure that yeah. we have space for the Danish people especially because yes. it's the first time we don't know how many people <laughs> will actually be there and if we are able to actually get people to come and try it even though they maybe have not uh, done it before or maybe they don't usually speed puzzle because yeah. we want to make it like very open and welcoming for people just to come and be part of it even though like just have a fun day and meet other people yeah. yes exactly that's the point so if you are in Denmark 
please come to compete. Can you tell the date again? Yes, it will be the 1st and 2nd of June 2024 in Aarhus. Perfect. So see you there. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then we finally got the mic group, uh, which had this puzzle. Also, I, I was happy for this because I was worried that after the um, bookshelf thing, the other puzzle is going to be like a scenery or something, you know, like completely opposite. Of course, this is quite different, but still it's, I would say this is kind of like a lot of details that I excel with. And my pair was actually somebody who I've never puzzled with. Uh, maybe um, I've seen him like on events, you know, but never really discussed uh, further anything. So it was very interesting to puzzle together, but we actually finished on this classification round at, as 12th. Uh, with this puzzle, we did it like in 37 minutes. So I was very happy about that. <laughs> and because we were in a different groups with my husband, Daniel was of course able to um, <laughs> film me. But then there was this surprise that uh, Dalia actually also got to the finals. Uh, not because of uh, uh, their time, but because there was this kind of rule that uh, us internationals who were competing kind of like outside of the competition, so basically they just take the three best international pairs directly to the final, no matter the time. So Daniel ended up also being in the final, so I don't have too much uh, video material um, of myself from the finals. <laughs> But anyway, the final puzzle for Paris, um, the postcard, the Paris version, um, I think still unpublished. You have been able to order this, but I checked the Amazon and it's not even no longer available for ordering. Uh, I'm, I, was, I have to say, I wasn't, I wasn't kind of like surprised that this came up. And I knew this is going to be fast. This is going to be really fast for kind of like everybody. But I was still kind of happy with, with the puzzle choice of theirs. So, yeah, we also finished in the final 12th. And our time was, it was less than half an hour. It was 29 minutes and 37 seconds. And the crazy news also is that my husband also, um, with his pair, finished under an hour. So that is so, 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 so great. Yeah. 
Yes. The only issue with this, and I've heard this also from other rounds, that apparently some of these kind of like new puzzles, they were missing pieces or had like uh, multiple extra pieces. So of course, unfortunately, I got the puzzle that was missing one piece and it was so kind of like in from a visible spot that I think it was like two minutes or one minute before we finished the puzzle. I told my pair that we are missing this piece. Can you can you start looking for it, like check the bag and everything, and I will just finish this puzzle in the meanwhile. Um, but in the end, we were not able to find it, so it must be just the case that it was missing. So basically, uh, but I wanted to start looking for it earlier, because when we actually finished and we were knowing at that point that we just don't have the puzzle piece. So I told the judge right away that stop the timer and I'm just taking the, the, the penalty. So we don't basically start looking for the puzzle piece after we finished and still even take on top of that the penalty. So yeah, but there was a lot of people who had like extra pieces. I would have rather had that kind of fault in my puzzle, but no can do. But yeah, it's a very lovely puzzle. Very lovely. And if you watch my previous videos about the Swedish nationals, and I was saying that every year they seem to have a puzzle that then ends up being also in the walls afterwards. So I'm kind of guessing that if so, there is once again a same puzzle that it's going to be in the Swedish nationals and then in the world, it's going to be this one. 100% sure actually. <laughs> And those who haven't noticed yet, I always have something, not bad to say, but you know, kind of like criticizing what could be done better or blah, 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 blah. And of course the event wasn't perfect. Um, I mean, it's kind of basically done with volunteers and stuff. You cannot expect everything. Um, in general, I wish there would have maybe been, uh, been a more information in English, um, not only for English speaking people living in Sweden, but also for international and the international audience, because I feel like there was a lot of interest from international audience to, to this event, as should be, because it, it, that, that event is pretty top notch. Um, considering that speed wrestling is kind of like a new thing and haven't been doing this for like dozens of years. But yeah, it was, um, for example, okay, about the information, for example, they had this competition that there's a, also a prize for that person in every round who does the uh, edges fully first. So I wasn't well um, aware of that because I don't understand Swedish. I think they said it in Swedish before every round, but I did not know that. And then the fact uh, that I didn't know there is a live stream and uh, I wasn't the only one. feels like nobody knew it before it started. And also I think they could be a little bit more active in other channels than just Facebook. But that's basically the things that I can um, come up with. Okay, so if I do have to criticize something, this is actually not even related to the event. Uh, but remember this shirt? Um, I had in the world last year and I actually showed it in one of my YouTube video like very basic quality nothing special but did the job uh, but it has a little pasta bolognese accident on front so I did this like extra fast delivery it was like 55 euros or so with the same design like the same uh, file that I sent to the other company to get that shirt and you know uh, I ordered that it will be on the back of the shirt and then I went to pick it up like right before, almost right before I had to go to the Sweden like a couple of days before. This is what I got. Um, first of all, the print is on front. Um, not in the back. Um, and these are the colors from the same. So I understand printing companies, they work differently, but I also got a preview of this and it, to me it looked the same, exactly the same as the other shirt I have. I said, same file, haven't touched it. And I didn't see any specific instructions. So I was actually confused because usually it uh, refines to you need the 
I said uh, RGB or SMUC or whatsoever. So I was like, okay, well, I guess it goes the same. And yeah, so that's why you saw me actually with the um, black shirt. It was kind of like a backup plan figured out, literally just got it hours before we went to the ship that took us to the Stockholm and then to the Gothenburg. But yeah, that's my one critics related to this whole jabba dabba dabba then. Ding, dong, 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 pew. Yeah. And of course, for my trip, I bought and got new puzzles. I'm very excited for this Ravensburger anniversary puzzle. These small things that you can see here are actually images of their puzzles. So if you look like really closely, I can see some puzzles that I have. I'm so excited for doing this. Um, then I also, I didn't participate in teams, thank God since I kind of collapsed before the teams. The teams were competing right after the individual final. Uh, but I did got um, the team's final puzzle. Very excited to do it with my team. Uh, and generally in uh, about some recommendations about Gothenburg, um, I bought this puzzle from uh, Universum. Universum. I don't know how you should pronounce it in Swedish. But it was like such a great place. They had kind of like this uh, forest, like it was kind of like they had animals and plants. It was, it was such a great place. It was also more like science place, like Heureka in Finland. It was kind of like just mix of everything. We spent there like five, four hours. It was amazing. <laughs> Universum, I definitely recommend if you ever visit the city. And then of course, you know, we just visited random stores and I magically bought some puzzles. It's magical things happening. Oh wait, this is not actually the right one. No, the one I bought has cats in it. I can't find it anymore. Sorry, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I have a video of it. But this one I did buy. Mm. I've been actually wanting this for a long time, but it hasn't been ever available anywhere. And then I bought because I thought the Eurovision is coming eventually this year. And there wasn't too many uh, 500 rupees Ravensburgers that I wouldn't own already. But then I bought this because I had to just buy something on the way back. Pretty excited for this. And since you're all always so excited for all the live stream of competition, so there is coming. Uh, online speed wrestling competition here in Finland in early April that I'm competing and I'm gonna live stream it again here on my YouTube channel so remember to subscribe you can already go check my channel and mark the date in your calendar it's already scheduled so you can find it from the live tabs or in the uh, front page it will show you upcoming uh, live streams or something like that so remember to subscribe and I hope you hopefully will see you in the live stream and of course in my weekly videos. And since I never actually remember what I'm saying while I'm filming, but uh, obviously I have to edit my video and listen to myself. How terrible is that? Uh, so I will put all the relevant links that I've been talking about to the description. Also the puzzles, the associations, uh, whatever I've been talking about. But anyway, that was it. It was a great, um, great trip to Sweden. I would love to also come uh, next year. I am also planning to probably go to the Norwegian and uh, Danish nationals. Tiny little maybe still, but most likely I will. But anyway, I will see you next time. Bye bye.